Tesla's Model 2 is finally here, and it's engineered specifically for seniors over 60. Higher doors that open wider, seats designed for aging spines, a dedicated driver display positioned where 70-year-old eyes naturally focus. But here's the shocking part. These senior-friendly features are exactly what every driver actually wants. Easy entry, universal appeal, effortless controls. Everyone needs that. Is Tesla really building a senior car? Or did they just disguise the smartest mass market strategy ever deployed? Let's dive right in. Supplier leaks from Shenzhen and Taiwan revealed something Tesla's been testing for 18 months. A ride height 40 to 55 millimeters higher than Model 3. That's the difference between struggling out of your car and walking away without thinking about it. But the engineering goes deeper than just lifting the chassis. Tesla's door team recalibrated opening angles from Model 3's 70 to 72 degrees to a projected 78 to 80 degrees. Those extra degrees create 23% more clearance for leg swing through without twisting your hips. For drivers over 65, this biomechanical adjustment cuts entry time and reduces the hip flexion strain that causes pain after every parking lot trip. But here's what makes this calculated. Tesla studied NHTSA data showing seniors take 23% longer to enter vehicles not because of age, but because cars force awkward body angles. They're not accommodating slowness. They're eliminating the design flaw that creates it. The door hinges tell an even stranger story. Internal patents from Q2 2024 describe counterbalanced mechanisms reducing closing force by 35%, dropping required effort from 12 to 14 pounds down to 8 to 10 pounds. That's refrigerator door engineering applied to automotive. Why does this matter? Arthritis affects 58% of Americans over 65, and grip strength declines approximately 1% per year after age 50. Tesla isn't adding power doors. They're removing the need for them entirely through mechanical advantage. The question is, did they solve a senior problem? Or did they just make doors better for everyone carrying groceries, holding kids, or dealing with windy parking structures? Seat base height rises 25 to 30 millimeters compared to Model 3, creating what ergonomists call an optimal hip-to-heel ratio. This isn't comfort preference, it's injury prevention. Research from the Society of Automotive Engineers shows drivers over 60 experience 60% 60 more spinal compression on long drives because intervertebral discs lose hydration with age. The higher seat position reduces the bending motion that loads your spine during entry and exit. If you've ever felt your back tighten after getting out of a low car, you've experienced exactly what Tesla is engineering away. For eight years, Tesla's single-screen philosophy frustrated older drivers who wanted speed and navigation in their direct line of sight. The Model 2 breaks this pattern with a 5.5 to 6.1-inch driver display positioned above the steering column. Tesla's first departure from center screen-only design since the original Model 3. Qantas Taiwan assembly line confirmed this display won't replace the center screen, but complement it, showing speed, battery level, autopilot status, and navigation exactly where your eyes naturally fall. Font sizes increase 15 to 20 percent compared to current UI elements, but the real engineering is in visual accommodation time. The speed your eyes refocus between near and far objects. NHTSA data reveals that drivers looking away from the road for more than two seconds double crash risk. For a 70-year-old, refocusing from center screen to road takes 1.8 seconds versus 1.1 seconds for a 30-year-old. 
Tesla's driver display cuts this cognitive burden by 40% by positioning critical data in your natural eye path. The center screen itself shrinks to an expected 12.3 to 12.8 inches, positioned 25 millimeters closer to the driver than Model 3's current setup. That shortened reach matters more than it sounds. Shoulder rotation decreases with age, and every millimeter of reduced arm extension adds up over dozens of daily interactions. Tesla is adopting ISO 2575 iconography standards used in aviation, where symbols must be universally recognizable under stress or reduced visibility. Why aviation standards? Because cognitive processing speed declines 0.8% annually after age 60, making simplified visual language essential for safe operation. The simplified quick access bar for temperature, fan speed, wipers, and defrost cuts interaction steps by one to two taps per action. Not physical buttons, but streamlined digital design that acknowledges menu diving creates friction. Here's the twist. Younger drivers hate buried controls too. Tesla solved a senior complaint and accidentally fixed everyone's frustration with touchscreen depth. Seat comfort in affordable EVs is notoriously terrible. Yet Tesla claims the Model 2 will deliver premium support while staying in the $19,000 to $24,000 range. Early prototypes use three-layer foam composite instead of Model 3's dual-density structure, adding 8 to 12 millimeters of lumbar contouring. The science here is precise. Firm 45 to 50 ILD base layer carries main load, Mid-layer softens to 35 to 40. ILD for dynamic absorption. And top layer relaxes to 25 to 30. ILD for pressure relief. This progressive support gradient minimizes sciatic nerve pressure, the main cause of leg numbness during long drives. But here's where manufacturing strategy becomes crucial. Giga casting for front and rear structures could free enough budget to allow these comfort upgrades without price increases. Tesla's casting approach cuts part count and assembly time, redirecting savings into material quality where it matters most. The question every analyst is asking, can Tesla actually deliver premium seat engineering at economy pricing, or will cost cutting emerge during production? Suspension tuning reveals similar prioritization. Instead of Model 3's stiffer damping, Model 2 softens low-speed rebound cycles, smoothing bumps between 25 to 50 kilometers per hour, exactly where seniors drive most. A slightly longer rear trailing arm design absorbs road imperfections without adding significant weight. Sound insulation drops from 18 kilograms to 12 to 14 kilograms of lighter composite material, maintaining noise reduction while cutting mass. Reduced cabin noise isn't luxury. It's alertness preservation. Noise fatigue degrades reaction time, especially during longer trips. Tesla's safety approach for Model 2 reveals the most strategic thinking. Scaled-down autopilot hardware optimized for urban speeds not highway dominance. Six cameras instead of eight, focused on short to mid-range sensing in school zones, parking lots, narrow streets, and evening traffic. This configuration matches exactly where seniors actually drive. AARP research shows drivers over 65 reduce highway driving by 38%, but maintain the same frequency of local trips within five miles of home medical appointments, grocery shopping, social activities. Tesla engineered the camera layout specifically for intersection monitoring, crosswalk pedestrian detection, and low-speed maneuvering. The new low-glare night camera module addresses the fact that 68% of seniors avoid night driving due to reduced contrast sensitivity, not vision loss. If you design cameras that work for aging eyes in dim light, you've also built the best night vision system for everyone.
The dual infrared driver monitoring system improves detection when your head is slightly down, turned, or obscured by glasses, delivering earlier lane departure warnings. Parking assistance brings back ultrasonic sensors in hybrid form with 200 to 260 centimeter range, about 30 centimeters farther than the discontinued 2023 sensors. Tight parking ranks as the most stressful driving task for seniors, and Tesla's bringing back the hardware everyone wanted while claiming it was unnecessary. Adaptive haptic feedback lets the steering wheel gently pulse when you drift off center or approach obstacles at slow speeds. Not aggressive correction. Subtle reminders that build confidence in busy parking structures. Here's the pattern. Every senior-friendly feature is actually universal improvement disguised as accommodation. Look at what Tesla actually engineered. Easier entry for everyone. Better displays for all ages. Premium comfort at economy pricing and safety systems optimized for the driving most people actually do. The senior focus isn't charity. It's the smartest market strategy in automotive history. By solving the hardest problems for the most demanding demographic, Tesla built the best affordable EV for three generations of buyers. While competitors chase performance specs nobody uses daily, Tesla identified the underserved group with $15 trillion in spending power and reverse-engineered the mass-market winner. The Model 2 isn't a senior car. It's proof that designing for real human needs beats designing for spec sheets. Which feature matters most to your daily driving? Drop your thoughts below. Entry ease, better displays, seat comfort, or safety confidence. This is exactly why Elon Musk's engineering philosophy keeps reshaping entire industries. The Model 2 isn't just solving senior mobility, it's proving that designing for the hardest problems creates universal solutions. Those counterbalanced door hinges? That's SpaceX-level mechanical optimization applied to everyday life. The three-layer foam progressive support? Same iterative engineering that perfected Raptor engines. Tesla didn't build a senior car. They demonstrated that mass market dominance comes from solving real human needs, not chasing spec sheet numbers. And this is just the beginning. With 2026 production targets approaching, legacy automakers face a brutal reality. While they optimized for zero to 60 times nobody uses, Tesla engineered the vehicle people actually want to drive daily. The Model 2's $19,000 to $24,000 price point with premium engineering isn't just competitive. It's potentially market-ending for traditional compact EVs. Here's what happens next. Watch how quickly competitors scramble to add driver displays, raise ride heights, and soften suspension tuning. Tesla just set the new baseline for affordable EVs, and the industry has maybe 18 months to respond before Model 2 production ramps. What feature would make you consider switching to the Model 2? Easier entry, better displays, premium comfort, or stress-free safety? Drop your thoughts below. This is tech revolution, and we break down the engineering strategies reshaping transportation and beyond. If you want analysis that connects the dots between Tesla, SpaceX, and the future Musk is actually building, you know where to find us. The revolution isn't coming. It's already being manufactured. Fifteen thousand dollars. 300 miles. No lithium required. Tesla just confirmed the Model 2 is launching in December, and the specs are genuinely insane. We're talking about a compact hatchback priced lower than any EV on the planet, equipped with aluminum ion batteries that deliver double the energy density of lithium cells. The kicker? A 53 kilowatt hour pack that somehow achieves 300 plus miles of range. Numbers that engineers said were impossible at this price point. 
If Musk actually pulls this off, how does BYD compete when their $12,000 cars can't match this range? Let's dive right in. By 2025, BYD wasn't just competing with Tesla. They were crushing them in sales volume. Chinese automakers flooded markets with EVs priced as low as $12,000. And the message was brutal. Premium pricing won't save you when buyers can't afford entry. Tesla's Model Y performed well despite higher costs. But that success masked reality. Without a sub-$20,000 option, Tesla was locked out of the fastest-growing EV segment. When Musk originally targeted $30,000 for the Model 2, analysts knew it wouldn't work. BYD would still undercut them by half. Then, Tesla slashed the target to $14,990, a figure that seemed impossible for a vehicle packed with self-driving hardware. How do you build an advanced EV for less than a used Honda Civic? Internal sources confirm Tesla is finalizing every detail for a December unveiling. And Musk has been unusually secretive. When Joe Rogan tried extracting information, Musk shut it down, claiming this could be the most memorable product unveil ever. That level of secrecy from someone who overshares on X suggests something genuinely disruptive. The name hasn't been confirmed, but insiders unanimously call it 